<laughs> but by the way, how are things in California right now? You know, you and I texted back and forth the other day with the whole grades where they're getting rid of uh, yes. uh, uh, Fs and some L A L A U S D and Ds, yeah. right? Some cities, they're not going to do Ds. They're, but w how, how are things with crime, bad. street? I mean, you've seen a lot of videos. People are walking and taking stuff, but we're not living in California. You're there. What is it uh -uh, like? Dallas, Texas, too. I, I know four people that have been either held up, had a gun pointed at them, something violent, a violent encounter. And this, this is in Beverly Hills. This is in the Pacific Palisades. I personally know them. I personally know people that have had guns pulled on them, robberies around them. You know, I, we were, were they making a movie with Alec Baldwin? <laughs> no, oh. actually. He, he took a sabbatical. Um, wow. I, I, we had a Christmas party last week, a good friend, in Beverly Hills. And literally, I was thinking about it all day. I was thinking, is there going to be security there? Because literally, they're, they're hitting holiday parties now. They'll come in. And they'll, they'll, well, they'll watches, wallets, and rings. It's happening. It yep. really is. And I literally asked him. I said, "By the way, is there going to be security there? Have they thought about hiring somebody?" Luckily, it was in an enclosed condo complex where you couldn't get in. Yep. But I was literally thinking about that huh. all day. I think about that where where you drive, where you go. People don't wear their watches. They don't wear. They don't carry expensive things. You're you're a walking target, it, and it's just it's really sad. You know, they had huge smash and grabs over Thanksgiving like a lot of these big cities did. They rounded up. They arrested 17 people. Garcetti goes in front of this big press conferences. They were all released the next day. Zero cash oh. bonds. It, it's really bad. They're so brazen. They don't care. They're organized. And I think right. it's starting to hit more influential people in California. Mm. That's why I think it might start shifting a little bit. Yeah. Because it just makes no sense. If you think back and yeah. think these, they can go in and steal whatever they want, yeah. whenever right. they want. In, in the most high traffic area? So it's a great time for, for citizen watches to create a marketing campaign. Where are watches? No one will steal them. <laughs> like a very, it's a. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like the old swatch from 40 years ago. Hey, Pat, you know what we're talking about? The, the smashing grab. You know the Nordstrom's that's at West Hills? Yeah. It's right. It's on Topanga Canyon, yeah. and it's the edge of Canoga Park, but it's right by West Hills and where all the celebs live. Okay. You know? Calabasas it was right next to that. That was the Nordstrom that was hit. So they're coming to these wow. areas. Oh, it's the not. It's oh, not it's just they hit Rodeo Drive. Drive. That's it's right. Not, the one in Topanga. Topanga Plaza. That's the main. It's now, it's that's now, the best Nordstroms in LA. That's that's right. And it's now known as the Westfield West Hills oh at Topanga. Oh my gosh. That's the one that got hit. <clears throat> so when so and there was police cars chasing them. It was a huge. It was a chase. This, this is not an it. isolated incident. When Nordstroms reported their earnings, they had a special line item for theft. That's how much it's impacted Nordstrom's earnings. They yeah. had a special one-line item for losses due to theft. And Walgreens has shut down hundreds of stores because of that. Yeah. And it's, it's organized. The, uh, the Topanga one happened this way. First three came in with bear spray, and they hit the guards. They walked in, and this was two girls, one guy, dressed reasonably. They, they had, like, you know, they were wearing, like, caps and then pull them down and then he hit the guards with the bear spray and then 20 people stream in and got all the purses and stuff that can be sold easily on ebay or with sidewalk vendors down in venice hey you want a purse yeah i mean I, it had a method point is that there was a playbook for this this wasn't just random i talked to i talked to uh, uh, a big uh, uh, pr from yesterday in new york and <laughs> this is how the call starts so uh, um, my friend said, you ought to get with one of these bigger PR firms. This is the main person you got to talk to. I said, no problem. So she gets on, and uh, 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 she says, uh, so how, how are things? It's great. So where are you at? I'm like, I'm in uh, South Florida. You know, the, the things are great here. Ooh, I hear things about South Florida. I'm like, w what do you hear about South Florida? <laughs> it's okay. I said, how are things in New York? Oh, great. I said, ooh, you know, <laughs> it's great to be a part of it. I used to, that was the best city in the world just a couple years ago pre-COVID. Oh. Stop exaggerating. It's still the greatest city. I was on the streets the other day. People are walking everywhere. It's so free. It's still the greatest city in the world. I'm like, yeah, but there's a lot of strange things going on there. <laughs> and you saw her like she couldn't help herself. No, this is still the greatest city in the world. And she's going with this part. I'm like, all right. I said, well, awesome. You know, more power to the great city. There are certain people that are trying to deny what's going on in their cities. New York being one of them. L.A. Yeah. being one of them. And the, uh, Newsom even came out and said, I'm going to follow... Uh, what do you call it? It's a protocol. He says, what Texas yeah. is doing with abortion, I'm going to be doing with gun laws, mm -hmm. is what we're going to be doing. Remember that? Yeah, that he's story? ramming that through to get yeah. rid of the uh, automatic assault rifles. Right. In, in, in L.A. Uh -huh. Anyways, yeah. uh, again, they keep doing things like this. People are going to keep leaving. People will react. There is cause and effect. I was, I, I was in New York City yesterday. I mean, I, I heard from a lot of my buddies. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm back, back working at home. They shut down the office again because they, they imposed mm -hmm. mass mandates inside. Yeah.
Yeah, L.A. just shut down for another month, too. Mass indoors everywhere. Don't you just love that? It's like a way of saying, go spend time with your family. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's a level of nobility in Newsom when you think about yeah. it. You know, like these guys are they're so concerned about your quality time with your family. Newsom but, and nobility. I never I never made that connection. <sighs> yeah, it's just it's, it's a sweet little thing that's going on there. So if you enjoyed this little short segment from the podcast that we did, here's another short segment to watch. Or if you want to see the entire podcast, click over here. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.